Yo, it's that Fez guy. Come in. Thus it begins. I would put my chance of getting a PB tonight at 50%. That's how confident I am. Yo, what's up, Krypton? Why is Ezen auto hosting me right now? Didn't he just start streaming 10 minutes ago? If you can hear me, Ezen, what the fuck, bro? Look how happy he is. That was... nothing even happened. <laughs> Usually when you do a 2-1 jump, you'll like, just do a regular jump or you'll team up. That time I tried to do a 2-1 jump and monkeys literally just sat there. <laughs> oh. I guess that's good. It means I didn't lose as much time. Lazy, they don't want to do any work. The hardest level in World Two. I fucked it up. that race anymore. I don't want to just PB. But who knows, that could happen in the next 40 minutes. Also, my plan tonight is, uh, planning to do the, uh, challenge Waffle always does, which is try to get a 40 in this game after drinking a 40. 
have a 40 in my fridge. Bust that out at some point. <laughs> so funny. Hey, you said that yesterday. You know, I think that's probably what influenced me to do that. No, I didn't think of it at the time when I was in the store. I was like, hmm, maybe I should get a 40. I have a sloppy world too, but it doesn't matter. World 4 is where all the time save is. Oh yeah, of course it counts if you be during a race. Just to, if you're in a race, you can't like... If I were to make a huge mistake in World 1, I couldn't like, reset and try again, so it's like EB might immediately be out of the question. This is probably the run though, so I'm probably race tonight. I don't know. This happened last night too. Okay. This might not be the run. <laughs> totally. On a, on a PB here. It's a little below at one sixth through the run. <laughs> That's when you know this is the run. Honestly, I'm just scared of getting farmed. I don't want to get farmed. I'd rather just break my 40. Yeah, dude. There are several people who can easily farm. Whoa! Dude, what? Good lord. I'm gonna farm myself. Yo, what's up, you? <laughs> top of the mountain you can only be knocked down I like how this is the first run of the day. Uh-oh. Gonna have problems down below here. Yep. Called it. How much time you actually lose doing a double jump there? Oh no. This is really bad. Good old rattle battle for ballsy mistakes. Gotta love rattle battle.
Alright, this level has been really bad lately. Let's see what happens. Oh god, see? Shit like that. Alright, at least we got the double quick shot. Right, that's a lot better than yesterday. <laughs> yee yee. Dude, I get to World 3 all the time now, Jake, because I can PV even if I were to get like a 220 World 1. So I don't reset nearly as much as I used to in the beginning. However, this could be a problem. Let's see. Nope, not a problem at all. Alright, losing... Losing like three seconds. Pretty much all because of Rattle Battle. Glimmers is bad. That was Barrel by you. Good. There wasn't a good level in this world, really. Those Slime Climb and Crackhead were, but those are like half levels. seconds lost. But that feel when I can save like 19 seconds in this split. Oh no, where's my roll? I've gone for dustpan jump, that never would have happened. Since when is Dustpan Jump banned? I have to consult Wade and Waffle on this one. Oh, come on. Ah, that Hornet Hole could have been way better. All the way up till that very last wall was pretty good. Fly Balloon is not banned. You're <laughs> unbanning math? Dude, math is like... Hold on. Math is like an underground market in this game. Yeah, every, like, it's illegal, but... Everybody secretly does it. We gotta do something about this. The math cartel. <laughs> yes.
Right around here is where I start to get nervous and runs. Hate the end of World 4 so much. For some reason, the easiness of target terror seems to like give that a chance to really build up. Alright, good luck on 1 and 2 for me. Oh, it's kind of. I'm surprised it's that early. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's like. Gives you too much time to think. And this is iffy. Run's really not that good. It's only uh, about 20 seconds ahead of. I have 4054, which was pre crack warp. Crack warp saves 22 seconds, so it's slower than my pre crack warp PP. Hate that jump there, it's so scary every time. Pepper your Angus. Not over yet, this level is just as hard. That's the scary part. Difficulty dies down for a while now, but still, of course, er everything is still very dangerous. But I feel a lot more confident getting out of mud hole like that. And I feel like I'm less likely to die in web woods than normal because I realized uh, up in two and. Web Woods, for anyone who knows what I'm talking about, only saves 0.2 seconds. And that's one of the things that kills me most often in that level. So I decided I'm going to drop that strat. But Eagle Pit and Leap of Faith are still really dangerous and definitely required to get a good Web Woods. It doesn't even save a donkey unit. A donkey unit is 
Up and two is like worthless. The rolling under midway in mud hole is like way more worth it than up and two. Yeah, what IGB said. Ain't hey, no donkey unit. Where's your math, man? Come on. Is that gold? Almost. Oh, yeah. Well, this is actually the second run in a row on this pace. The last run I did of this game was yesterday, and it was the exact same pace. So, this is familiar territory. That sucks. Four fives. Already a second behind. So world four and three are my big time saves in this run. World five and six is kind of like maintenance. There's a very small chance that I could actually save time in any split for the rest of the game. So we gotta just try as hard as we can to keep this pace. Plank, better plank. There you go. Play the video game. I agree. A lot less nervous than I was yesterday this point in the run, which is always good, just because uh, I'm more used to it, you know? It's no different than yesterday's run. If I can do that twice in a row, then why should I care if this run dies, you know? Let's do it again. Also, keep in mind, this is just barely past halfway through the run, even though it feels much deeper. 40 minute run, I'm only 23 minutes in. That's kind of a good perspective to keep, I think. Oh no, I forgot to jump. I just lost a couple frames, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I better reset or do something. How about this? I'll save two frames in the next level. I don't know how, but I'll try. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, Nomix? And Mario fan, how are you guys doing? Oof. 
Man, that was smooth. It's as good as it gets, man. Uh, I definitely lost frames in Gusty Glade. Alright, focus. This first rat, man. That first rat has been known to kill me. Unless I, like, explicitly pay attention to it. Drunk is coming. Fuck you. No! This is bad. Oh, come on. I was hoping Crow 2 would give me a right spawn so I could do Zombie Crow. favorite level in the game. for really digging in and learning how to do that strat and teaching us all how to do it. Whew! That was close. Very close. Oh, 
Nope. Trust it. I don't think I was far enough left for that to work. I'm glad I bailed out of it. Lost about two seconds in that level. I feel like I've been on this same pace before. So there's nothing to get nervous about. This run won't be my goal time, regardless of what happens. But, I mean, even if it was 16 seconds ahead, it wouldn't really be my goal time. Well, it's whatever. <coughs> I'm extremely calm right now. The only thing that scares me is uh Chain Link Chamber. And maybe the bird section of Toxic. Actually, this World 6 is pretty good. Um, I've memorized... Oh no. Wow, now it sucks. <laughs> Whew, at least that didn't hit me. That would have been really bad. Alright, so I just lost like 3 seconds. No big deal. It's pretty disgusting, you know? <laughs> time save for the next run. Assuming this still PBs, it might not. Oh, bullshit, dude. Why is Clapper so hard on PB pace? Chain Link Chamber is the boss of this world. Hello? Alright. Just gotta seal the deal. Seal it up and bag it up. Oh my god, that's never happened before. I'm gonna shut my pants right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why did I grab midway? It was like the perfect snake section, ruined by something stupid. It's a lot of squandered potential. Fuck me, dude. Can't believe that World 6 lost that much time.
Wow. That bites, dude. That fucking sucks. I was gonna grab the DK barrel at the beginning of this level, but I can't anymore. This is the first run of the day, and I did call that this would PB in Barrel Bayou. It's not over, though. I very easily lose those two and a half seconds still. Because 447's what I got in my PB, that's actually a pretty damn good World 7. You only get a 447 if you have a solid sprint. This, uh, semi-solid. I would call this semi-solid. <laughs> Dude. Alright, well it's gonna be like a 40, 29, 40, 30. God damn, dude. Was World 6 really that bad? Alright, let's go over what happened in World 6. So the mistake in Toxic, Toxic had two mistakes actually. The snake mistake, I guess, was like four seconds. Um, there's a mistake as the bird that cost almost a second. Uh, Clapper's Cavern had like a three or four second mistake. So I guess, I mean, yeah, that adds up to like nine seconds right there. So that's what happened in World fucking Six. All good. I have time save at the end of the run instead of the middle of it. Yo, if I get a 4029, I also bop drums, so that's kind of important as well. Drum is not on our leaderboards because he's a Japanese runner, but he has a 4030, I believe. Oh yeah, I didn't get ghetto bees either. Oh yeah, this is a bad World 6 overall. Yeah, yeah, ghetto bees. I'm 80% certain I would have taken damage. Had I continued the Ghetto Bees trajectory that I was on. Yeah, the Toxic Mistake was pretty small because the rest of the Snake section was perfect. And, like... Actually perfect. All the double jumps. Oh my god, I almost threw away the run right there. Pay attention. Pay attention, you idiot. Please. Yo, what's up, Ash? Thanks, man. I am keeping it up. Yeah, the biggest mistake in World 6 was definitely Clappers. I I've never... I don't think I've ever made that mistake before. Yeah, I want to try to get good throws here, so it can be 40-29 instead of 40-30. Then we will have we'll have runners at 40 31, 40 30, and 40 29. It's kind of crazy. These throws have been bad though. I might get a some time loss here. Clappers is like I said it the other day. It's the hardest easy level in the game. It's like super easy until you're on PB pace. And like everybody fucks it up. You're right about that, so like this run had a really bad battle battle.
God damn it. This feels so useless. <laughs> it's the same PB pretty much. It just changed which splits have the time save. That crow too as well, dude. I don't know how to feel about this. I guess in positive. Just moved up two places on the leaderboards. One position per second. <laughs> but I'm still I'm now 20 seconds still from my uh my true end goal. Yeah, we're gonna run this back for sure. You're definitely gonna run this back. But yeah, what's the white said? Time to pop into that 40. Didn't even beat Link. Dude, this run had so many mistakes. That's the good news, I guess. If that's how, if that, if you want to look at it positively, that's how you should look at it. Like I know precisely where I could save like 20 seconds on this run. What? In terms of skill, uh, you know, Drum PB'd in this game again, right? Like, I think he got a 40-30. Okay, you mean in terms of skill, not PV. Makes sense. Yeah, Drum has the fastest any percent time. Yeah, Feast is the king of donkey, though. If you, if you think anyone's better than him, well, you're just wrong. I can't believe how much time loss was in World 6. What was that? What was that World 6, time-wise? No math. 30... Oh my god! That was a 726 World 6. I can beat that shit by so much. That's like... I can miss Ghetto Bees. I can take damage on Ghetto Bees and beat that World 6. That's how bad the World 6 was. So... Alright, whatever. All the way up to World 4 is gonna be hard as shit for me to keep up with now, but... World 5 onward, I should be able to save time on my next run. I'm gonna go get a 40. This right here this is the true meme. The hurricane is no 40 quite as badass as the hurricane. So, challenge for tonight I'm gonna drink this whole 40, then I'm gonna get a 40 in this game here. That is, if I can stomach this awful, awful thing. Bottoms up. It's gonna take a while to drink. I could probably finish three runs before I finish this. This is 6% alcohol too, which is a lot for a beer. 
All right. Uh. Yep. Drinking a forty. While I'm getting forties. Chug it. Yo, waffles here. What's up, man? Yo, Nomix. Yo, did you, are, did you just have a baby? Or did I miss did I misinterpret that? True, yeah, the faster <laughs> you got a good point there. The slower you drink it, the worse it's gonna taste. Right now it actually tastes pretty good. I already feel it. It was good. Oh, that's all that happened? Well, that's, that's so hype though. I didn't know you were gonna have a baby at all, so... Still good news, man. It's gonna be un, una chica or un chico. Bro. It's almost baby. <laughs> uh, believe that Clapper's Cavern. Yo, here's something that I'm actually really, really excited about. You guys, most of you guys probably won't care, but ZFG finally PB'd in low percent MST, which means he's going back to 100%. And for me, that's like finding out that like the World Cup is gonna come like years early. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll trade off the uh, 40 runs waffle. That's awesome. Dude, he's gonna... DFG's gonna be able to uh, PB by so much. Because... Since he stopped playing Hundo, he's played, like, every other category in the game. Including, like, the hardest known category. So his skill in the game is still gonna be significantly improved. Although... Can God improve? Or is he just already perfect? Alright, stop this recording. Now, let's watch back that fucking awful clappers. Gotta watch 